Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to brand new video and uh, I just want to talk for a little bit uh, What's going on just so you guys can get some clarification You guys don't feel like I'm leaving you guys out of the loop or anything because the last thing that I want is to keep you guys uh, You know like to keep you guys uh, in the dark and uh, that's something that I don't want to do anymore and I just want to be upfront with you guys I may not have a lot of subscribers and I might not have a dedicated fan base But I always want to be open with you guys as much as I can uh, so Yeah, then this is a little update before the video actually starts just something new um, I'm probably gonna be starting something uh, In the week where I just sit down and talk about things like a mental health break or mental break like mentally just talk things out and stuff with you guys so you guys know me as a person and go know what i'm going through because i am human as much as uh you guys uh so lately i've been working two jobs and that sounds very stupid because i've, I've made that very clear that i've worked way many i've i've been working two jobs and I, I think i've made that very very clear in the past um but uh, it's actually way easier where i live now because uh you know I don't have to drive 45 minutes away to the certain job or I don't have to drive 30 minutes that way or this way back and it's, it's really good for mentally and oh my gosh it's so much better uh, another thing I one of the bigger reasons why I haven't been uploading is genuinely because there is nothing to make a video or talk about and this is something that I am not proud of, but unfortunately, I'm pretty much drained out on ideas. And it's something that I, I hate to admit, but man, it sucks when you don't have any ideas or anything. So I've been kind of having, like if I was a writer or something for a show, I would have writer's block. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, it's like, you can't really be creative or anything. Like I'm just drained because I was pumping out so many Resident Evil videos and that took a lot of me. If I'm being honest with you guys, it seems like that whole that whole month or the two months that I was posting nothing but Resident Evil content was nothing, but it really was, man. I was taking so much time and talking to you guys, and you know, I really was pumping out those videos. And honestly, I can tell I, that I was doing really good. And I know this video is probably not gonna do as bad or good because I I just know it's it's not like I know. I've been gone for a bit, and I'm just gonna be seeing how this video does overall but um yeah so the main three reasons why i haven't been uploading just to get it out the way there's literally nothing else to talk about resident evil is draining as hell and it's pretty much dry as hell secondly i just kind of lost my mojo and, and three i've been hitting the gym more and i've been really like staying focused on my creative uh my creative i've been really staying focused on the bigger picture uh, that's the best way i can pretty much wrap it up with saying that um but i don't really have too much else to say uh, i am using batman gameplay because i just want to use it for now but i it is going to turn over to some resident evil gameplay in a bit but um yeah guys i i want to start one of those series where i talk to you guys about like you know like how i'm doing and stuff like answer your questions or anything like that i'll have some gameplay on the channel or something where i just talk a week maybe it's like 20 minutes or 10 minutes or something like that because i want to make longer videos but that's something that i want to get into the future but now i'm going to be talking about some resident evil and i have a something that i want to talk about now <laughs> hi guys welcome to brand new's video hope you guys are all doing great this is michael i just really wanted to say my intro before the video starts uh the video is starting here and uh i just wanted to talk to you guys uh, in the beginning about something else um but you guys are seeing some resident evil 7 gameplay on your screen right now this video is not gonna have too much editing and it's not gonna have crazy editing or anything like that um but yeah uh basically i just wanted to talk to you guys what's going on with resident evil where's the dlc for eight you know as much as i hate to say it resident evil 8 wasn't really my favorite game because honestly i think i took a step back from its uh how do I say this? It took a step back from Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7 was pretty scary. And I'll be honest with you guys, it is still pretty scary, okay? And honestly, I, I don't know how else to, I don't know how else to say it, but it is pretty damn scary. Um, that's one way that I'm just gonna wrap it up. The atmosphere, the overall, the vibe of the game, you know, you get very, very, very intense and, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not really a game reviewer, but I can just give you guys a general like 
yeah, general gist of the game, it's it's pretty scary. Like I'll, I'll be honest, I love the survival. It really took us back to the roots of Resident Evil, and I think this was a plus. But Resident Evil 8 just felt like straight action, and this is something that a lot of people hated, including me. Because look, if I'm gonna be playing some action in Resident Evil, I would rather play five and six. Five and six is one of the better games that I would say. I think a lot of people shit on them, and I don't really like that. But I think they took a step down with this. Now, I I'm just gonna say this, right? Uh, basically, I think Resident Evil 8 should incorporate these DLCs where they talk about lost tapes. Now, the lost tapes from Resident Evil 7 were a big plus, and I'm I'm experiencing them right now. Uh, I'm actually playing it on on the screen for you guys. I downloaded Resident Evil 7 because it was free for PlayStation 5. If you guys don't know, I do have a PlayStation 5. Um, and basically, I think that they should incorporate this. I shot so many ideas here on the channel, but I think one of the better ideas that I have for this that it could be incorporated is re is probably stories on the cast of Resident Evil 8. Uh, Donna Benevito, uh, Lady Dimitrescu, Heisenberg, and that other dude that's like a fish. I can't really remember the name at the top of my head. Why don't we get stories dedicated to them? Now I get we get the lore between all of them and I get that they were failed like test experiments and you know, I'm not gonna jump into it because I don't wanna spoil the game, but why can't we get some backstory on them, you know? Why can't we have like lost tapes how they did in Resident Evil 7? Now, the lost tapes in Resident Evil 7 were probably one of the scarier parts and this was a very good element for the game. It was very, very, good in my opinion and i think a lot of people can say that too i think they should incorporate something more scary now house benevito in resident evil 8 is probably one of the scarier parts of resident evil 8 and i think this is a huge plus for the game okay now that was probably my favorite section of the game because ethan going into the basement where he has to basically solve these puzzles and honestly the puzzles itself are freaking hard and I know I'm not a hardcore Resident Evil fan, but I do know myself about the lore and all that because I did some, you know, obviously I've done my research and everything for the game and pretty much I can say that I'm probably more educated with the Resident Evil franchise and, you know, I can definitely tell that this was a plague plus. I think learning, playing as Tom, uh, playing as Clancy and experiencing what he suffered from the Bakers was pretty devastating. I mean, he ends up dying. Yeah, big spoilers. I mean, he ends up dying, but the way he went out, damn, Clancy was a straight trooper in that in that DLC, you know? But it's very unfortunate that we don't see this in Resident Evil 8. Now, Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 3 was more action. Like, we can just say that. Hands down, that game was just way too much action. And I don't think that was one of the... I think that's one of the reasons why um, it just really sucked. And I think the game is good if you're looking for action and a short uh, like a short playthrough. But Resident Evil 2, on the other hand, oh my god, that game was phenomenal. It's probably one of the better Resident Evil games. And I will say that with full amount of love. But, yeah, I wish they would incorporate more horror into the elements going forward. I wish Resident Evil outrage can have this because that's one of the things that i'm hoping with this game that it has horror i don't want it to be action i don't i want to be survival horror that's just something that i want with this franchise i don't know but that's just some thoughts that i have with the game and i i just say this with all love i'm and this is just my feedback for this all oh, like trust me like i'm not trying to shit on the game because i know making a game is pretty hard and you know game development is pretty tricky nowadays because you know the whole freaking pandemic and stuff i don't want to jump into it um but yeah i mean that's pretty much it guys i mean i don't have too much to talk about and i apologize that this video is pretty long i usually don't make long videos but yeah uh that's pretty much gonna have to wrap up today's video and i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out